Hello, this is a short video. I just want to actually take you through uh, in, an install of the Wise Management Suite standard on prem. So, this is the server, it's a 2016 server that I have uh, ready to go. Uh, before I do that, I'm actually just going to go out to the wisemanagementsuite.com because I want to point out a couple of things before we get started. If, if you want to know the difference between the standard and professional version, if you click on Wise Management Suite and click on Learn More, you can see a chart here that gives you a lot of the great features that are available in the Pro version. Um, I also want to note that if you go to this uh, wisemanagementsuite.com and you click on the Learn More, there is an option at the bottom where you can start a free trial. So if you don't want to go through the install of the on-prem, you want to start using Wise Management Suite in the cloud today, just fill out this form and you can start using that and you can kind of skip on to the next video where we talk about learning how to use Wise Management Suite. Uh, but for the rest of this video, we're going to um, show you how to install the standard version uh, on-prem. So let's go to support.dell.com, select Browse All Products, select Thin Clients, then Wise Software, and then select Wise Management Suite. And then under Drivers and Downloads, we're going to select uh, the latest version. So the latest version at the time of making this video is uh, Wise Management Suite 1.4. So we'll go ahead and download that. Uh, we're using a clean virtual machine, a Windows 2016 uh, joined in domain. Uh, currently, we support Windows 2016 and 2012. Um, you can, again, download the install guide and it'll give you the full list of requirements. But for a demonstration purposes, uh, you don't need a, a lot of resources, really the minimal resources to run a 2016 server, at least for connecting to a few thin clients to it. So now I've went ahead and downloaded uh, the Wise Management Suite software, and I'm going to go ahead and start the uh, run the executable, which will start the install shield wizard. So in this demo, I'm going to take you kind of through the simplest use case. We're going to do a typical install of Wise Management Suite. Make sure that you enter um, database credentials that you can rem remember, and the administrator credentials. Uh, also make sure that you remember these, particularly the email address that you use. So I'm logging in as Guy Wise and then the email address as WiseGuy at Dell. So I'm going to need to make sure that I remember this password and that email address because that's what I will use to log into Wise, my Wise Management Suite server. So I go ahead and click on Next here. Uh, I'm not using the EM SDK. This is something you would only ever install if you were using a Wise Zero client with a Teradici chip inside of it, like the 5030. Um, so for this use case, uh, I'm going to be just showing you how to use this with Wise Thin OS. So we'll go ahead and click on Next um, with all the defaults and go through the install. Uh, so not a lot to it. Again, this was just a clean virtual machine with 2016 downloaded. Uh, chose pretty much all of the defaults, made sure that I gave a database password that I remember, and then a user account uh, that I can remember as well. And now once it's done, I can go ahead and launch the browser, or excuse me, launch the console, uh, which is just a, a web-based um, console. So I could, I could actually log in from any web-based web browser. So on the first setup, I've got a few things. I'm going to choose the standard because I'm not doing the pro. Uh, and then there's two more things. And again, for this simple demo, I'm going to actually um, skip the ability to set up email alerts. And I'm going to skip um, adding security certificates to my Wise Management Suite. So I've done everything I need. I've got a, a Management Suite server that I can use for the rest of my demos. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in, just test that that works. So that email address and password that I created. And you can see inside of my dashboard here, Currently, I don't have any devices or policies, um, but uh, again, that's all I wanted to accomplish in this video was to show you how to do an install. Um, please uh, stay around for the next videos. I'm going to go into further detail on how to set up a policy for connecting to two of our most common VDI environments. That's going to be a Horizon View environment or, and a Citrix virtual apps and desktops environment. Thank you. Have a great day.